video from Carfix where I do what I love and I love what I do. Today's fix is going to be on a 2008 Honda Accord. This particular Honda has a V6 3.5 liter engine. The issue I'm having with this vehicle is the engine performance problem of course because the check engine light is on, the engine is idle and high, runs rough and it has uh, low power. After scanning the computer uh, only one code popped up which is uh, code P3400. Now the definition for this code is the VPS system stuck off bank one. Now the scan does not say it's for bank one, but I know it's for bank one. Basically, the VPS system on bank one is deactivated uh, due to a malfunction in it. Now VPS stands for uh, Valve Pass System, which is part of the main system, uh, the VCM system. Now VCM stands for uh, Variable Cylinder Management System. This system has the ability of activating and deactivating uh, two or three cylinders depending on the driving conditions. The lifeline for the VCM system, VPS system, and also for the VTEC system is the main engine oil pressure. So the first thing I need to check, I have to make sure that the engine has the proper oil level in it. Since I don't have any knocking noises or tapping noises uh, or uh, an oil light on the dashboard with the engine running, I'm not going to check the main engine oil pressure at this time. Now eventually I'm, I'm, I need to check it if I have to, but before I do that I need to uh, look at the VPS system uh, components parameters on the scanner to make sure they're reading correctly. Now, the data stream uh, has very important information a technician can use when diagnosing an engine performance problem. Well, of course, if he or she knows what they're looking for. Now, for me, I can tell right away that there's an issue going on with the rear rocker on oil pressure switch. Because uh, the PID reads that the switch is activated. Unlike the one above it, uh, the front one, uh, the PID reads that the switch is off. Now, uh, the possible causes for a uh, switch to be activated when it's not supposed to be activated are... Uh, the switch could be bad, or the control module could be bad, or the circuit between uh, the control module and the, the switch uh, might be shorted to ground. And also, uh, the oil pressure control solenoid uh, might be leaking internally. Now, since the oil pressure switch is located after the oil pressure control solenoid, it acts as a spy for the control module on the oil pressure control solenoid. Uh, so the next step will be uh, just to replace the oil pressure switch. Now the location of the oil pressure switch for bank 1 is at the uh, left rear of uh, bank 1 cylinder head. Now after removing the oil pressure switch I need to match uh, the old switch with the new switch because those switches are actually directionals and uh, color coded. As you can see the old one is blue and the new one is tan, uh, so they don't match. So after calling the dealer they said it's okay go ahead and install it, it's fine and it looks like they changed the colors on me. With the new oil pressure switch installed, I need to go back to my scan to check for uh, trouble codes and check the pit for the oil pressure switch and also to check my engine performance problem to see if I fixed anything. Well, it looks like I did because I don't have any codes in the system, especially uh, P3400 and the pit for the oil pressure switch reads uh, fine, reads off and uh, the engine has lots of power, idles fine and runs okay. So it looks like I fixed something. Now you might wonder why I replaced the oil pressure switch without doing any testing. Uh, was I guessing or I just got lucky? Wait a minute, I don't believe in luck. Well, neither, because I did test the pressure switch, uh, the pressure switch circuit, and also I tested the oil pressure control solenoid just by unplugging the, the switch itself. You see, I did not want to send out the wrong idea of unplugging sensors and components to diagnose an engine performance problem because working on cars and checking engine performance problems uh, is not a guessing game, at least for me. You see, the oil pressure circuit uh, is very basic. It's either on or off. It has no heaters, no resistors, and also does not have any reference voltage coming from the computer. Uh, the oil pressure switch feeds ground to the computer uh, in the closed position with oil pressure and removes the ground uh, to the computer in the off position with no oil pressure. So just by unplugging the switch, this will open the circuit between uh, the switch and the computer. Now if I unplug the switch and uh, the, uh, the pit on the scanner still reads on, that means uh, the circuit is shorted to ground somewhere. But that's not the case here because as soon as I unplug this, this, the switch, uh, the pit on the scanner changed from on to off. Now you might wonder what about the uh, uh, oil pressure control solenoid. You see, if the oil pressure control solenoid is leaking oil pressure into the system, uh, the VPS system will be activated and the engine will still be running bad. Uh, but that's not the case here either because as soon as I unplugged it, everything went back to normal. The engine was idling okay, uh, has lots of power, uh, no codes, uh, especially P3400, and the PID changed on the on the scanner. So that was my test for the entire uh, for the entire circuit for the oil pressure switch. 
just by unplugging it. Now I'm going to go ahead and test both pressure switches to show that the old one was 100% bad. You see, using a power probe and by feeding ground to the bottom of the old pressure switch, if the switch is open, I should not get any ground feed at the top or computer side. But that's not the case here because I do have uh, ground feed at the top of the computer side. That means the switch is stuck uh, closed. Uh, now, unlike the new one, the new one is already installed and uh, uh, has uh, a ground feed from the, from the engine itself. And I do not have any ground feed at the top or computer side. That means the switch is open. That was a quick fix from Carfix on a 2008 Honda Accord with a V6 3.5 liter engine code P3400. At the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, any suggestions, uh, please leave them uh, down in the comment section below. And activate the uh, post notification bell so uh, every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified uh, from now until the next Carfix video. Thanks for watching, and see you then.